in a city this size, how many of its inhabitants have died in the night? First of all, before anything begins, I'd like to say that I am a totally reliable person who never throws in the towel until it's time. You were forced to lose your purchase as the city rolled to turn upon its shoulder and find a better lie. Les Mills, it starts here. Why are you wearing socks in the gym? She went through double doors to the outside, the compound known as Death Row. Who put her in? Little Tommy Finn. Who pulled her out? Little Johnny Stout. This is the great read-off at the end of Once Upon a Deadline. An amazing marathon running eight hours around the city, writing fiction in public. The story they've written had to be conceived, written and edited in the course of today. Pick up, kind of, and it's got away on me. This is actually the first day that I've had a chance to write, so I'm having a good time. So the panic's going to set in in another half an hour, I think. <laughs> no, it still needs a lot of work, but I've got the end. So, yeah, but I do need to tidy it and tidy it and tidy it. That's, that's the process now. Like every single morning when my son eats his porridge, um, he wants us to tell him the story, and he always kind of like gives us a little brief. It's like it's got to have a train in it, and it's got to have a space alien in it. It's got quite a strong feel about it, that place, you know, with the animals and the smell and the noise and everything. We're already 300 words over and now I've just probably written another 200. So I've got to think about cutting down. Because ordinarily for me this would be the point where I'd put it in a drawer and come back to it after about a week. But um, hopefully after talking with the editor I'll be able to, I don't know, fix it. Editors um, are really crucial because they can look at a story which, you know, might be partially working but there's, you know, obviously something deeply problematic about it and they can point out another angle that you should perhaps go at it and then suddenly something or other which looks like it needs to go back into the bottom drawer or you know like shredded or you know turned into toilet paper um, can suddenly actually become a really convincing story. The winner of the judges prize and I have the check here is David Geary. <laughs> These guys did an amazing job and I feel like I'm sort of getting it for everybody. So um, I forgot to thank my editor, Jane Harkin, are you here? Because I said that I would actually share this with the editor and with Sylvie if we won. So you guys are getting drinks right now. So that concludes the first, but I'm sure not the last, New Zealand Once Upon a Deadline event. Thank you all for coming.